with a seismic vibrator? <laughs> Come on, Mud Runner. They know what they did there. Wow, there's like four of them. Those are the biggest seismic vibrators I've ever seen. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. Today, I think we are going to complete the little Colorado map. As you can see, we have four out of the five expeditions completed. All we have to do is earthy vibes. This is our last one. I'm hoping it's not too difficult. It says it is easy. Let's take a look at the description. We need to conduct a seismic survey of the surrounding area. So you'll need a heavy truck. I don't think I have any. With a seismic vibrator. <laughs> Come on, Mud Runner. They know what they did there. We need a seismic vibrator on our truck. Equipment like this greatly increases the weight of the truck. So make sure you purchase all the necessary upgrades. We are required to bring a seismic vibrator with us and look at the icon for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, we need to bring an off-road truck. We have quite the distance to traverse. Look at that, 1290. And it says to bring two trucks, but I think the last one told us that too. And we didn't need them. Off-road truck. Well, that is going to be either the Tuz or our step 310, right? A seismic vibrator. I mean, can we even put it on? Is it big? I don't even remember seeing that. Let's customize this. And it's probably here, right? Seismic vibrator. It would be here, I would think. And I don't see it. Let's go back to the step 310. And it looks like this is the one they want us to use because it does show up as a device there. So let's customize this. Yes, it's going to be in frame modules. What does a seismic... Oh my gosh, there it is. That answers my question, what it looks like. Wow, there's like four of them. You can have a party. Wow, okay. Let's take a look at what else we might want to bring with us. Y'all like my hot pink Step 310? I'm sure you do. I love it. Well, we have enough money. Do we want to upgrade the engine? This one is B plus B, B plus. This one is A, B plus B. So it's going to cost us some more fuel, but it will have more power. We're going to do it. We're going to upgrade the engine. Bam, we did it. We got our stock gearbox suspension. Now we could add a lift kit. Good for venturing down off-road. Great ground clearance at the expense of suspension travel and stiffness. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, we might have to worry about the stiffness. Look what we're carrying, right? Let's try it with a lift kit. I have a lot of money right now. I sold all my other vehicles. And our tires, we have average, average, average. Oh, we need something good for off-road. We're going to buy the 42-inch off-road tires. There we go. We have extended winch already, so that is maxed out. We have our engageable diffy lock and snorkels. I mean, I don't think we're going to need them, but it did say watery terrain. We're going to buy them. We just spent a buttload of money. Let's go ahead and add some heavy nerf bars. I mean, that's not going to help us with the cargo, but I think they're cool. And it should add some moderate crash protection for the sides, you know we're going to need it because I have a tendency to crash these things. And we are going to spend $5,000 on an increased emergency supply of fuel and spare parts. So we're going to buy that. I think we are good now. I don't want to spend the money, but at the same time, if we don't use these, I think we can store these back at camp. So let's go ahead and buy a pack of anchors and we're going to buy our jack screw because I always tell people to get those before your mission. So I am going to heed my own advice. And we already have a little bit of extra fuel. We have some spare parts and an extra wheel as well. I think we're ready. We got our vibrators. We are ready to embark on our Earthy Vibes expedition. Let's deploy. It's daytime, but we are going to turn on our headlights, turn off our park and brake, and here we go. Sorry, I just got to check these things out up close and personal. 
Those are the biggest seismic vibrators I've ever seen. Not that I've seen a lot. Those are quite impressive. All right, let's focus on our mission now. Here is our first destination. Let's see what it's going to tell us. Seismic vibrator. It's used in geological expeditions. It shows the distance to points in the upper right part of the screen. So we have 78 yards until the next one. You determine the direction yourself. Oh, wow. Okay. At a distance of less than 150 meters from the point, a sound signal is activated. After approaching the point less than 10 meters, the signal decreases and a command appears to start scanning. So we have to scan with our vibrator. Okay, 74 yards, 71, 68. Well, we're going the right way. I'm thinking, yeah, let's engage our four wheel here. Actually, it's our all wheel because we've got a lot more than four. I'm just a little concerned how this is going to perform with our lift kit on and our giant vibrator. Wait a minute, start seismic vibration right here. Oh, that is cool. Wait, that was it? That didn't vibrate very long. I feel gypped. We have 344 yards until the next one. That is a long trek. But anyhow, I was saying that I don't know if we're going to be a little bit tippy because of our lift kit. But we got to go up this. We got to go up this hill. So we are going in the correct direction, but we have about 290 more yards. I'm guessing we're going to need to go through here. And I don't think we want to go down that. That looks pretty rocky. I think we're going to have to go up this way. This is a tight squeeze. I think this might be mud. Hm. Pedal to the metal. Can we make it? Oh, no problem. It's hard to know which of our upgrades has made this thing so agile and powerful because we added the engine, the tires, and the lift kit all at once, right? Ooh. That was not good. Can we get out of here? Yeah. That is a tiny path right here. Can we make this? And our numbers are... They're still going down, right? Actually, no, they're going up. Now they're going back down. I think this is the correct way. That is not going to get us far enough. Slowly and carefully meander down through these rocks. That looks like more mud down here, so let's stay on the right. We're down to 180 yards. So now we are left with a dilemma. Let's look at our map. We have to go left or right? Left or right? They both look bad, don't they? <laughs> oh, we did a little bit of engine damage there. If we turn left, how are our numbers? 150, 149. Don't think there's anything we can do. You know what? Better yet. Let's throw it in park, and to save on fuel, we're going to turn our engine off. We are going to pop out our drone. A no-flight zone? I can't use my drone. Oh, come on. I can use my binoculars. What is that guy? Those little totems point the right way, don't they? Last night, I was playing around in the Arizona map, and that's what I was told. I think we're going the wrong way. Easy does it. Turn her hard. Come on, girl. Oh, we're digging in. I hope I'm going the right way. I mean, our numbers are still going down. That's good. Let's stay to the left. We're down to 100 yards. 
And I think we can traverse this. Yeah. This is the way. We got this. Start seismic vibration. Here we go. That was it? <laughs> nice. Okay. We did not use our jack screws or our anchors. So here is what we're going to do. First of all, we are going to look at all of our bonuses we received. Use the jack screw more than three times. Wait, what? I didn't do that. Don't flip the vehicle. And then we got another bonus for less than 50 damage from a tire swap. I don't really get that, but we're going to take it. We're going to get our rewards. We got 5550 and we still have our anchors and jack screws. So we are going to press continue and we are going to go to our map to our main base down here recover here and I know we have room yes we are going to store our two jack screws we're going to transfer those and we're going to transfer our anchors here and that way we get to save them for later otherwise if we go back to headquarters we only get 50% of what we paid for them back now something else you can do if you're here so I got 5500 from that mission I don't know if I can do this in this truck, but we're going to try it. I will show you what you can do to make 5,000. And this is especially helpful if you've unlocked free roam. You can do this as many times as you want. Because it is a fast way to make some serious bank. So head over here. And this truck is not going to like the small spot I'm going to try to put it in, but we're going to do it anyhow. Uh, we're going to lower our tire pressure just because I'm not sure how this old girl is going to climb. But let's go right up here. There is an airdrop. And as far as I know, it's always here. Now, this is the airdrop you want. Go ahead and open it. And take a look at this. We just got a reusable anchor. So you could go back and stow this if you want. You could take as many of those as you would have room for back at the base. Or you can then open up this menu here. Click return to headquarters. So we are going to essentially end our mission. We get paid 5000 for that reusable anchor. That's pretty cool. So in addition to what we made before, we got another 5,000. We are going to go back to our headquarters and look at that. We are back to 244,260. So all that money that I spent on upgrading our truck, we have made so much of it back. So you could keep doing that as many times as you want. And as you saw, we have completed our little Colorado map. We can still free roam. There are still a lot of things that we have not gotten, a lot of tasks and airdrops and all sorts of goodies that we can still go around and find. But I think next episode we are going to go into Arizona or the Carpathians, maybe Carpathians just for a little change of scenery, if you will. And uh, I'm looking forward to what other maps they add. But Little Colorado was really fun and a great beginner experience. This game is just so fun and so chill. I like it much better than the semi long hauls of snow runner so it's going to depend on what you like but for me this is just a really chill and interesting and it's exciting because it's calm but at the same time you really have to think about what you're doing and plan and be methodical and i like that part of the game so if you like expeditions and other sim and survival games consider subscribing and if you want to be extra nice drop a like or a comment down below and i will see you next time